half the silencer brake friction, I'm here to show you how to do a quality professional brake job on your vehicle today. When it comes to aftermarket brakes for your vehicle, there's a million choices out there. But beware of cheap imitations. If the price is too good to be true, it probably is. And in order to maintain OE performance along with a quiet, dependable ride, make sure you buy quality brake pads. And we recommend silencer brakes. Silencer pads are BEEP certified, which means they are independently tested to perform to federal motor vehicle and safety standards. And they are specifically formulated to match original OE fit and performance requirements for your vehicle. The pads come neatly packaged and shrink wrapped. They are chamfered and slotted where OE requires. They come with a premium alloy shim. They come with abutment clips. Brake wire sensor where required and molly lube. As an added convenience for your professional shops, it also includes a window hang tag with customer break-in procedures. And for your do-it-yourselfer, we have step-by-step -step instructions. Today we're working on a late model Camaro. The first step in a quality professional brake job is a quality inspection. You always want to inspect your rotors, inspect them for cracks, hot spots, rust. Check your brake hoses. Check for abrasions, cracks, leaking fittings. You always want to make sure all your fittings are tightly fastened, nothing missing. Uh, the first step we're going to work on is uh, removing these brake pads. So let's get started. This particular application here is a set of Brembo brakes. Now your application might have a two-piece caliper that you remove the outer shell to access your brake pads. Always refer to the OE instructions for your specific model you're working on. After removing your old brake pads, always inspect the surfaces. Look for any abnormal cracks, rocks, anything that might have been stuck in the pad that could have scored your rotor. After removing the caliper, always make sure you support your caliper properly. That way you are ensure not to damage the brake hose. Now we're going to go ahead and inspect the rotor for run out. Make sure it's true. If you had pulsation issues, you'll find out if you need a new rotor or a new hub at this point. This rotor checks okay. Please refer to OE specifications for your particular application. If the runout is too extreme, usually 6,000 to 7,000, you'll need to replace or resurface your rotor. Always double check the thickness of the rotor to make sure it falls within minimum machine thickness. If the rotor is too thin, this could cause brake pulsation or brake fade. Now we're gonna remove the rotor and inspect the hub for cleanliness. You always want to make sure you remove all debris, rust, high spots from the hub face and the rotor back. If installing new rotors or machine rotors, always make sure you wash your rotor with soap and water to remove any contaminants from affecting your brake performance. Now after we've cleaned up the hub surface, we're going to spray an anti-rust inhibitor on the hub assembly. Now you want to make sure you have an index mark, index it correctly to your hub so you can retain it properly. After installing the rotor, I always recommend to recheck the rotor with your dial indicator. This ensures you have a true surface that your brake pads will mate to. Before installing the caliper, you always want to make sure the areas at the pad right, the contact points of the pad are clean and free of rust or debris. Now we're ready to reinstall the caliper. On a more traditional system, it is usually a single piston setup. These are easily compressed by using a large pair of channel locks or something as simple as a C-clamp. After compressing the piston, always ensure the piston boot is flush with the top of the piston. Let's install the caliper brake. Now on a quad system, it's much easier to compress the pistons after you install the caliper.
Now that the caliper is installed in this particular setup, we are ready to compress the pistons. The easiest way to compress the pistons on a quad setup, is start with your old pad and push them in to their flush with the caliper. At this point, we want to install the new pad. I've already pre-lubricated these into metal contact positions on the side and where the piston contacts the brake pad. Now at this point, you repeat the procedure for the opposite side. Now that we've installed the pads, it's time to install the retaining hardware. Now that we have our pad retaining hardware installed, it's time to double check our work. We're going to reinstall the tire. Hand install the lug nuts, and once we lower it down, we will tech to specifications. After torquing the lug nuts to specification, this concludes our step-by-step -step instruction installing in brakes. On behalf of Science of Friction, I thank you for your time. And for more information on our products, please visit our website at breakandenter.com.